Mastering your music, the art of miking the sound hole. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of English language learning, especially for music enthusiasts and budding audio engineers. We're going to explore what it means to mic the sound hole of a musical instrument, such as a guitar. Understanding this phrase is not just about the words but also about the connection between language and music production. So, let's get started and demystify this interesting expression together. First things first, let's break down the phrase, mic the sound hole. At its core, this involves two key components, mic, short for microphone, and sound hole, which refers to the opening on the body of certain stringed instruments, like guitars and ukuleles. When someone says they're going to mic the sound hole, they mean they're going to place a microphone near the instrument's sound hole to capture its sound. This is a common technique in recording and amplifying music, ensuring that the true essence of the instrument's acoustics is captured and projected. You might wonder, why is this phrase important? For musicians and audio technicians, knowing how to properly mic an instrument is crucial for achieving the best sound quality in live performances and recordings. The sound hole of a guitar, for example, is where much of the instrument's resonance and tonal qualities emerge. By placing a microphone strategically in relation to this sound hole, one can capture a rich and full-bodied sound that truly represents the instrument's natural acoustics. This technique showcases the interplay between language, technology, and music, illustrating how specific terms can have practical applications in the creative world. Now that we understand what it means and why it's important, let's talk about how to do it effectively. There are a few key points to keep in mind. Positioning the mic, the microphone should be placed facing the sound hole, but not too close to avoid overwhelming bass frequencies. A good starting point is about 6 to 12 inches away. Choosing the right mic. Not all microphones are created equal. For acoustic instruments, a small diaphragm condenser microphone is often preferred for its ability to capture detailed sounds. Experiment. Every instrument is unique, and so is every room. Don't be afraid to experiment with different mic positions and distances to find what sounds best. We hope this video has shed some light on what it means to mic the sound hole and why this phrase is more than just jargon. It's a bridge between the worlds of music and audio engineering. Whether you're a musician looking to record your first song or an English language learner fascinated by the nuances of technical vocabulary, remember that the heart of learning is curiosity and exploration. Thank you for joining us today and keep experimenting with language and music. Until next time, keep playing and keep learning.